My name is Christopher Johnston and I teach the Music and Computer Technology program at Fairfax Academy for Communication and the Arts. MCT stands for Music and Computer Technology and the course is designed to be an exploration of the way the computer works in the life of the professional composer, uh, whether they be a composer of art music, film music, game music, whatever the medium happens to be. And so the students here are using computer softwares to generate original music. Um, my hope for them is that they come away with a much, much better sense of music at the architectural level, how it's all put together. You know, the sequencer becomes the, the perfect vehicle, I think, I've always thought, for teaching musical architecture because you actually input, listen to the playback, edit, modify, put it together, and everything is rather uh, instantaneous. You get an immediate response from your creative, as a reaction to your creative impulses. Everything here is, is project and production oriented. We, we like to say that about, about most academy classes. They tend to be product oriented rather than uh, uh, purely textbook exam uh, oriented. They, although we have a bit of that too, but everything tends to be built around the idea that you're going to compose something. You're going to come away with a group of compositions. I furnish eight different film clips for the students. They're about uh, a minute and a half in length, which doesn't sound like a lot of time, but it's a lot of musical time. And they are to watch the film numerous times look for places where the action changes, uh, create cues, which would be specific moments that are to line up in real time with the film, musical moments, and then actually compose the film score. Um, and then we put those up, we watch the films, and the, the students actually review the music, listen to the music, watch the film, and speak about how well they think each composer did at capturing the essence of the film musically, cueing specific events uh, and some of the technical things that are involved in film composition. I'd like to think that this is about as good an environment as you can get for fostering creativity. If, if we don't do anything else here, I hope it, that we're fostering their creative skills, their, their creative life. To me, that's going to play out in a very important way and pay, pay major dividends in their life either from a career standpoint or just from a purely artistic life standpoint.